The Voice kicked off its new season here on News Channel 8, and there's a young man from the Bay Area who hopes to be part of that show one day. But there is much more to his story than his musical talent, of which he has a great deal of, and that's why Gail Searins is joining us tonight to share that part of the story. Welcome back, Gail. Thank you both, and I confess I absolutely love this story. Devin Corral, he has a lot of talent. At 18, he's been performing most of his life, but it is his life that is the real story here his life, and the women who came together under the most unusual circumstances to love and nurture him. What's going on in that beautiful mind? Devin is just 18 years old and trying to bust into the entertainment business. His next step, auditioning for The Voice. I want to show them that, show them what I'm made of. He discovered his voice as a child, first in the church choir, singing solos when he was barely 10. But it is what he has discovered since that has shaped his very existence. Yeah, my moms are pretty awesome, pretty darn awesome. You heard him right, his moms. Linda Walker brought him into the world. Suzanne Corral brought the world to him. I think God gave us this call. After six years as a successful supervisor at USF, Linda Walker spiraled into a life of addiction. She lost her job, her will to live, and eventually the child she brought into the world two months early. I delivered the baby, and the next morning they told me that the baby was born, and he could not go with me because he had drugs in his system. Linda eventually ended up in jail, and Devin ended up adopted by a well-known and well-respected Bay Area family. Suzanne and her doctor husband, Kent Corral, already had children of their own. On Christmas Eve, they showed up at Mass with their newly adopted 15-month-old son. Because we already had four children and that we would show up with another baby was a little <laughs> surprising. <laughs> surprising. And he didn't look like the rest of us. Because of Linda's addiction during her pregnancy, Devin's adoption was closed. That meant she would not have the right to ever meet her son. But the Corrals had a different idea. After jail time and six months of a drug treatment facility, she got a call. I got a phone call from an agency that had been sent by the Corrals to find me, to meet my son. And I knew that that was a miracle. It made Linda more determined than ever to stay clean and on track. Devin looks so much like Linda that it was like we knew each other. <laughs> and you cried. And you, I said, why are you crying? And you goes, he looks just like you. <laughs> These two women share a love for their son and clearly for each other. From the very beginning, she was very respectful um, of, what, of what we had developed in our family. And... Um, she's been a great ally and a great prayer warrior for Devin. So I'm very grateful. So grateful that the Corrals are letting Linda take Devin to Atlanta for his audition with The Voice. Even when I lose me. This family has made me feel wanted. At the same time, I want to have that relationship with my birth mom and my birth family together. And for her to walk into my life like that is just the best feeling in the world. Oh. It really is an extraordinary story that I am so grateful to tell, but there is more. Let me tell you what Linda Walker is doing today. First of all, she got married. She had a couple of more children. For the last 12 years, Linda has been the program manager at House of Hope. That's a temporary residence for women who have been incarcerated, most of them because of addictions. They stay there to get their lives back in order through hard work and prayers. It has a 60% success rate. And as for Suzanne, her giving spirit did not end with Devin. A few years after they adopted Devin, they adopted Lee. He was seven, and the Corral home was the last stop for Lee after six foster homes. Both boys have learning disabilities. Suzanne has homeschooled all of both of them their entire life. These really are two remarkable women with an amazing story to tell. And their love is just powerful. Well, yeah, what hearts do they have? I know. And, well, he does look like his exactly mom, doesn't like he? Beautiful Linda. voice. Yes, he and does. what a voice. Now, has he already auditioned, or is he getting ready to audition for he, the voice? He did. He went up there two weekends ago to Atlanta for an audition, and the audition went really well, but they said he didn't make it this time. But when Linda was telling me about it, they said he has great potential. Don't make this the last time you audition. And apparently... 
people audition many, most of them audition many, many times before they actually get a spot that. on the voice. That's interesting. And after all, yeah. he is just 18 years oh, old, yeah. right? Yeah. Tons of time. And he's, and he's got that family support, the corrals. He's got tons of it. Mom. Yeah. Thanks Thank for you. sharing that. Nice. Good to be hey, here. Lady. Welcome back. <laughs> Time for me to go to bed now. Past <laughs> your bedtime. What do you think of that, Steve? Hey. Gail Searin's in the house. What's going nice on? Nice to here? see her this late. We thought she forgot about it. <laughs>